Hello everyone, continuing the series of weekly contest 280C, here is the second question in the queue which is append k integers with minimal sum. It's a very interesting question because it has a very different approach to it. Here in this question we are given an array of integers and an integer value k. What we need to do, we need to append k unique positive integers that do not appear in your nums array such that the total sum is minimum. That means we are interested in adding least k integers into our nums array such that the total sum is minimum. We need to identify the sum of those k integers which we are adding to nums. Here in this question we are given an example where the elements are 1, 4, 25, 10, 25 again and that signifies duplication is allowed. The value of k that is given to us is 2. As a result of which you can see that 3 and 2 are missing from this input array. Therefore, we'll add those, those two up into it. The sum of 2 and 3 turns out to be 5 and this is what we need to return. There's another example specified. I'll be walking through more examples and the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop onto it. Append k integers with minimal sum lead code 2195. It's a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. It has a small trick associated with it, which I really love. Here I have taken a slightly different example to what was specified in the question so that you get a good hold of the concept. The elements are 1, 4, 9, 13, 25. The value of k that we are looking for is 10. That means we, tr we want to append 10 new integers into, into this input array. So what we can do when someone reads this question, the basic approach that comes to everybody's mind will be on similar lines. You start a loop starting from i equals to 1. You check whether this element is part of your input array or not. If it is not, if it is part of your input array, which in this case it is, one is part of the array, you simply skip it. Otherwise, if it's not part of the array, you have, you will add that element into your result and you will reduce the k count. You will keep on doing the same thing till the time you have a valid entry greater than zero in k. So let's walk through it. So right now, i happens to be one and is i part of the if this is one part of my input array yes it is so it will not contribute to the answer because one is already present let's proceed ahead next we see is two is two part of your input array no it is not part of your array that means you have found out one pos one element that is to be added since you are adding two you will reduce the value of k next you see is three three is also not part you will add it it will reduce the value of k. Next is 4. 4 is part of the array. So you'll skip it. Next is 5. 5 is not part of the array. You'll add it. You'll reduce the value of k. Next is 6. 6 is also not part. You'll reduce the value of k and add it to your result. Next is 7. 7 is also not part of your array. You'll add it to your result. Next is 8. 8 is also not part of your array. You'll add it to your result. Next is 9. 9 is part of the array. You can't go for it. Next we have is 10. So let's consume it and the value gets reduced to 3 next is 11 11 is also not part of the array let's consume it next we have is 12 12 is also not part of the array let's consume it and next we have 13 13 is part of the array next we have is 14 14 is not part of the array we'll consume it and as, as soon as you see that the value of k has been updated to 0 uh, you conclude whatever elements you can see in circle or in square will be added to your input array and you can sum those up. What will be sum in this particular case? 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 6 is 16, 16 plus 7 is 23, 23 plus 8 is 31, 31 plus 10 is 41, 41 plus 11 happens to be 52, 52 plus 12 happens to be 64, 64 plus 14 happens to be 78. So the answer here would turn out to be 78. However, if you write this algo, it will give you TLE as a result of which it won't be submitted. So we have to think of some trick in order to optimize this up. What is that trick? Now let's come to the actual algorithm that we want to talk about. What we are going to do? Let's hypothetically for a second that there is no input array given to us. The value of k happens to be 10. What we are going to do in such cases? We'll simply add all the elements starting from 1 up till 10 in your input array. And this sum can be calculated using the very simple formula n into n plus 1 by 2, which in this case comes out to be 
55 also this tells us that we have added all the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in your input array however obviously there could be cases where these elements are already present so we have to handle those cases separately what we are going to gonna do we'll start the iteration and we will check whether my current element happens to be in the range of 1 up till k so let's check this up is the current element within the range of 1 up till 10 yes it is as a result of which you can't add 1 back into your input array therefore we'll have to subtract the sum of 1 from the total sum that we have calculated and the sum gets updated to 54 along with this you have created a vacancy that means you have to still add more elements in your input array so the count value or the vacancy that has been created gets updated to 1 let's proceed ahead next we see is 4 does 4 lie within the range of 1 till k yes it does lie within the range of 1 till k as a result of which you again have to subtract 4 from your total sum the total sum gets updated to 50 the count value gets updated to 2 that simply signifies two more elements are to be added let's proceed ahead next we see is 9 so is 9 within the range of 1 till 5 okay 1 till k yes it is as a result of which you you cannot have 9 again into your input array therefore you have to subtract 9 from your sum the sum gets updated to 41 along with this the number of more elements that are to be added has been updated to 3 let's proceed ahead the next element that we see is 13 13 is not within the range of 1 till 10 so the assumption still holds to it will not contribute to reduction of total sum let's proceed ahead next we see is 25 25 again is not part of the range 1 till 10 as a result of which it will not contribute to reduction in the total sum now uh, what we can say we can simply say that 2 3 5 6 7 8 and 10 these numbers have appropriately been added to my input array and we are looking for adding three more elements and the starting point for that addition will be 11 k plus 1 will be that starting point in the previous algo where we started i from 1 this time we will start i from k plus 1 also you will see that the value of k the number of elements that are to be added has been reduced from 10 to 3 using the simple formula and now you can go by the regular approach what you're gonna do you'll simply check is 11 part of your input array uh, it's not part of your input array as a result of which you'll add 11 to your total sum so 41 plus 11 gives you 52 the value of count get reduced to 2 let's proceed ahead this time we are gonna increment i to 12 is 12 part of your input array no it's not part of your input array as a result of which you will add it to your total sum and it's get it gets updated to 64 the count gets reduced by 1 and let's proceed ahead next we have 13 is 13 part of your input array it is as a result of which we'll skip it and next we have is 14 is 14 part of your input array it's not we will add it to your total sum 14 plus 64 gives me 78 and the count also gets reduced to zero we are done with the iteration this way we have reduced the time complexity by k units using this simple formula and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have talked here so let's quickly hop on to the coding section this was the previous algo that i wrote which gave me the tle i created a set i added all the elements uh, that are present in my input array into this set i started the iteration from i equals to one and i took an answer variable till the time my k happens to be greater than 0 and my ith element is not part of the set I add it to my answer I add that element onto the set I reduce the value of k if this is if i is not part of my set and with each iteration I am incrementing i so as to check out for more possibilities of i and let in the end I simply return the answer variable but this will not work here I have created the answer variable which would be equal to k into k plus 1 by 2 I go ahead and create the set variable that, that is basically acting as a new hash set. I start the iteration over nums. I check whether my current element happens to be within the range of i up till k. If it is, then I subtract uh, the nums value from my answer. Along with this, I'll increment my vacancy count variable. So count signifies that particular value. Along with this, I add it to my set. 
this is to handle duplication scenarios nothing else going ahead i, I have written the exactly same steps from the previous algo this one till the time my i count happens to be greater than 0 i assume i to be k plus 1 if my i is not part of the set i add it to my answer and reduce the count with each iteration and incrementing the value of i in the end i simply return k so let's try this up accepted this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye